A student at Miami Killian Senior High School faced a judge today charged with stabbing another student on campus. And tonight, that injured football player remains in the hospital. CBS 4's O'Reilly Ortega is live in Southwest Miami-Dade with more on the story for us. O'Reilly? Elliot, DeAndre Johnson continues to recover here at the hospital. The family's attorney tells us that as far as his recovery goes, he's not sure when things will get back to normal for him, either physically or emotionally. Meantime, the suspect in the case went before a judge today, and she learned that she will remain in custody for the time being. Cell phone video inside Killian High School's cafeteria appears to show 17-year-old Brianna Roll after she allegedly stabbed a 10th grader, sending him to the hospital and leading to panic on campus. Roll, a 12th grader, appearing before a judge in juvenile court with her mother by her side. During today's hearing, the public defender in the case asking the judge to release the 12th grader from secure detention and instead place her under house arrest with an electronic ankle bracelet. She's not a flight risk by any means. But the judge deciding to keep Roll locked up for the next 21 days as the state decides how they will proceed with her case. If they're going to be filing charges and where they're going to be filing them, if it's going to be here in juvenile court or in adult court. Speaking after the hearing, Roll's family attorney says he's looking into allegations Roll was being bullied at Killian High School, which only added to the trauma she allegedly suffered at her former school, Keysgate Charter High School. There were allegations that uh, she was raped by two football players at her previous school. Um, and there's some ongoing legal matters with regard to that. DeAndre Johnson, meantime, continues to recover at Nicholas Children's Hospital. The teen's family hiring an attorney who says they want answers from the school. He had to have his entire chest cut open from his neck to his stomach because somebody dropped the ball in allowing this to happen. The school says they were not aware of the alleged assault that happened at the suspect's former school or any other issues. Normally, they're supposed to let us know uh, what happens uh, at that school when the transfer uh, happens. Uh, they're supposed to report that. We did not have that information, so obviously we're not able to uh, act accordingly. And I did reach out to Keysgate Charter High School in regards to the allegations being leveled against them by this former student. A spokesperson sent me an email saying that there is no evidence to support the allegations made against Keysgate Keysgate Charter High School. That is all that she can say about the situation at this time. Meantime, Dre's family attorney is expected to give us an update on his condition sometime later this evening. Reporting live in Southwest Miami-Dade, Oralia Ortega, CBS 4 News. Oralia, thank you.